Hi TV is at the opening of the Saskia Fernando Gallery here at number 41 Horton Place a new home for these fabulous pieces you see around me uh, some pieces mostly of modern art we've got a new media section that's coming up on the first floor we spoke to Saskia a few moments ago just to find out her thoughts as to what she sees as the future for this gallery as well as adapting to this new space We've got with us the lady who's responsible for this uh, wonderful project. Very few art galleries here in Colombo especially and this is probably one of the most known or probably uh, one of the most well-known art galleries here in Colombo. We've got with us Saskia Fernando. How are you? Nice to have you with us on Hi TV. Nice to, nice to have you here as well this evening. Uh, Saskia, just, just uh, tell us how, how has it been like adjusting to this space? I know it's a new location. Uh, and I know you're an ardent collector of, of uh, different uh, different forms of art. In terms of adapting to this space from the previous gallery, was it a challenge? Was it easy? What was it like? It was a good challenge. It's uh, this space is uh, quite a bit larger than the previous space. Um, we were we've been renovating it for quite a few months now, and um, we actually moved in just before Christmas. So we've been open for a while, but we took our time to prepare for this our official opening. Um, because we really wanted to, wanted it set up in the way that we envisioned it and we allowed ourselves time to actually get that done. So it's been a challenge but a good challenge and something that we took time to do properly. Yeah, I think the best things do take time so I can imagine uh, it must have been a little difficult adjusting. Also, uh, Saskia, just tell us, uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's a new facility altogether. Um, in terms of the structure or how it's been placed out, are there any new additions? Are there any new, uh, new sections, new floors, new exhibits you've added to the collection that maybe uh, someone might be interested in coming and having a look at? Well, we have two floors now. So we have the ground floor um, area that we're in at the moment where we have uh, permanent exhibitions running and we also have an outdoor sculpture gallery. Um, on the first floor, we now have a new media gallery where we will aim to show um, a lot of new media exhibitions or works, installations and so on. Um, we didn't have that luxury in the previous space because of course it was considerably smaller. We also have a separate viewing gallery where we continue to do what we did in the previous gallery which was to show um, a mixed collection of works, so not necessarily an exhibition, um, but just a space where clients can come and take their time to look at the work. We have still a very large collection of over 300 pieces, so this new viewing gallery allows our clients to really do that in, in comfort and privacy. All right, that's wonderful. Um, one last question before I let you go and, and meet everybody. Um, Paradise Road has been a strategic partner in this initiative. Uh, would you like to comment about that? Well, of course, this, this, this new space is actually Saskia Fernando Gallery and PR, my sister's store, concept store next door. Uh, Saskia Fernando Gallery started very much as a, a continuation of what I had learned from my father in Paradise Road Galleries. We work with the same artists. Some additionally young. In addition, we work with some younger artists through this gallery. Um, but it's very much the same philo f philosophy. Um, having PR next door as a sort of design-focused store um, also follows in that same concept, but of course in a new area, which is fashion. So the art and fashion mix is really quite interesting, and both areas which we've basically taken directly from Paradise Road and built onto that. So we are, of course, the next generation, and it's inevitable that there is inspiration from that. Um, and it's exciting to have this space where we're doing that together. 
Right, thank you very much for joining us on High TV on behalf of uh, High TV as well as I'm sure everybody who's a fan of art. All the very best and hope you grow from strength to strength. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. We've got with us Saskia's equally pretty sister Anika. Uh, nice to have you with us on High TV. How are you? Good, thank you. Tired but good. <laughs> yes, I can imagine it's it's not easy opening up uh, something new. The the constant combination or, or fusion between fashion and art is something that uh, everybody talks about. This is a one of a kind endeavor. You've got uh, a gallery on one side. You've got you've got a fashion outlet to a certain extent on the other. Um, what is your take on this what is your vision in terms of pr and and how do you see this growing and taking uh, taking flight well i don't see pr growing too much more than what it is right now i think it would lose its uh, its whole point if it got too much bigger um i do hope my line of mouse does grow a little bigger um and pr to me is just an extension of paradise road and our retail and my father's retail chain um into an area of design that uh, paradise road has ventured into yet so um yeah and i look at it it's just a combination of beautiful pieces that i like and i've chosen each personally um by designers that i admire and um i h- hope to keep changing them and just having interesting pieces from all over the world and more from more locally i mean we've got really exciting local pieces as well and i hope that grows about design anika i mean um as i walked around the store i, I noticed certain similarities in certain themes uh, if you could maybe comment about some of some of uh, the items you've collected or who the designers were uh, anything in particular you 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 feel stands out or something that's closer to your heart well i think each of the designers i've chosen uh, that are in the store each are very different um and do beautiful work and i've chosen them so that they 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 get to shine in their own light so for example um from uh, internationally for men's wear my star designer rajesh pratap singh um with exclusive retailers in sri lanka for him and abraham and thakur uh, who are designers and fashion designers and textile designers and we've got small shop and it's each of them pratap is known for his pin tucks and classic beautiful shirts um abraham and thakur are known for their fabrics textiles more like it and and just simple cuts and each piece is a work of art small shop is silk and beautiful just uh, prints and colors and i can i mean you can see you'll see them just stand out in the store um and and then locally i've got some i've got mouse which is local um and locally produced very proudly a uh, touche which is a uh, with they sort of call themselves a french italian label which is manufactured locally and again even though they're foreign designers made very proudly in sri lanka uh and we've got salt which is a tie dye a really great young guy who's um who has a very clear idea of what he wants to do and i work with him a lot on colors and and cuts and uh who else have we got we've got eka we've got lots and it'll keep changing i mean i might not work with the same designers all the time So yeah. Um in terms in terms of items available um just so the people watching also also know what items I mean it's not it's not men's wear alone it's not it's not um restricted to a particular type of wear um are there any specialities in terms of accessories footwear um or is it broad based in terms of a little bit of everything Honestly it'll be a little bit of everything it might keep changing I mean I have right now I've got jewelry um one line which is uh, beautifully designed by my sister called Papillon Duté and another great label um by a half Sri Lankan girl who has been only retailing out of Switzerland called Kinsfolk and she'll be bringing in beautiful shawls um I've got footwear by Arugambe I've got footwear by Koge made out of tuna leather I've got all sorts of things it'll keep changing whatever yeah and I hope like I had these beautiful shawls by Rizwan Beg and I only ordered 8 and 
I've sold all, I think I've one left and I won't order them again because I think when people come here, especially locals, and this is for, for, for locals, um, they like to have a piece that stands out that you won't see next door. Exactly, and that's why PR is Horton Place best kept secret. You have to come and check it out. On behalf of Hi TV, we'd like to wish you all the best, Anika, with your endeavors and hope you expand, hopefully. Thank you. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. All right, we got with us uh, Mr. Akram Kasim from the Colombo Jewelry Stores. Of course, uh, everyone knows him. If you if you've seen uh, Colombo Jewelry Stores, well, he's a man uh, behind all of that. Uh, thank you for joining us on Hi TV, Akram. Yeah, Hi, thank you. Tell us about what do you think about the new gallery? Saskia Fernando has moved to a new space. Um, anything you found interesting? Yeah, I think it's a lovely space. I mean, upstairs and downstairs and very well laid out, and it's a good addition to Colombo. I think Colombo needs a nice art space like this. Any pieces that interested you in particular? Not seen it uh, fully yet, I just glanced around, but there's some lovely pieces around. Lot of sculpture and lots of different artists mixed up. It's a good sp space, I think. Uh, now, these guys have opened up a gallery next to a fashion store. I think it's a it's, uh, oh, fashion collection, collector's store. Uh, trying to highlight this, uh, the, the synergy rather between uh, fashion as well as design. You're all too familiar with it, which is, if you could like, would share some thoughts about, with us about that. Yeah, I think it's great to mix fashion, uh, a fashion store with a gallery or a cafe with a gallery or a cafe with a store. I think that's what the future is all about. People like to move about different spaces, see different things and I mean, all related to each other. So it's great to have a store like this. All right, thank you very much, Akram. Happy browsing. Okay, thanks a lot. We've got with us uh, Nirubin, who's actually one of the contributing artists to this collection. Am I right, Nirubin? Yep, yep. Uh, in fact, I go as P413, so you won't find Nirubin over there because it's P413. Um, you're one of the few artists I've found that um, that is relatively crazy talented, um, but who's, who's, who likes staying under the radar and is very comfortable. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I, I'm just comfortable doing what I like to do and then let people enjoy what I do. That's about it. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the piece that you've contributed, also uh, about what your view is on art. I know it's not your full-time thing and that you are working professionally as well. Um, what drives you, what motivates you? Okay, so the piece I did, it's an extension of the show I did back in June. Uh, it's called uh, Peta Main Street. So it's how I interpreted uh, Peta Main Street, which is sort of like the retail hub uh, for in Peta. Uh, and it's my take on it. And what drives me is the, you know, I see all these crazy, annoying things, you know, and it's really crowded in Peta and sweaty. But what drives me is I want to take something like that and then interpret it in my own colorful way. And that's a challenge on its own. And that's what you know, pushes me to do what I do. All right, and we hope you keep doing what you do. Thank you very much for joining us on Hi TV Nirubin. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Dima. We've got uh, Sharon Furkan here with us on uh, Hi TV. How are you? Good evening. Thank you. Hi, how are you? 
Um, Sharon, tell us a little bit about, about this new space. What do you think of it? It's the new gallery for Saskia Fernando, obviously moving from a smaller space to a bigger space. What are your views of the space? Oh, I think it's absolutely beautiful um, in terms of uh, space and decor. Very, it's very minimalist, but very, very um, stunning. And um, especially when you're driving from outside, you can't help but just notice it. And you're wondering what is inside. Um, you know, gives a lot of curiosity to come and have a look. True, that's very true. Um, I saw you browsing through the pieces. Uh, obviously, you're a fan of art. Um, are you a fan of any pieces in particular or contemporary art as a whole? Oh, I, I like um, contemporary and um, a lot of different um, uh, media as well. Uh, I'm a, a fan also of, um, for example, Anoma. She's uh, got some pieces here as well. And um, just in general, I, I just love to see the difference that all the artists have their own different styles of painting and it's always something new and different when you walk into this gallery and uh, that's what I like about it. Yeah. That's very true Sharon. Um, also one last question before I let you run off. Um, what do you think about contemporary art as a whole in Sri Lanka? It's obviously developing thanks to people like Saskia and, and endeavors such as these. Uh, what do you see the future as being here in Sri Lanka for art? Well, I think it's definitely um, uh, moving ahead in Sri Lanka. It is a growing uh, contemporary art is really coming up and everyone is becoming more aware and appreciative of contemporary art as opposed to uh, the more traditional um, uh, paintings. So I think it's um, there's many many talented artists here and it's really nice to see um, someone like Saskia promoting them and um, and showing the world that Sri Lanka really does have a lot of very talented artists. All right, thank you very much for joining us. We hope you enjoy browsing and all the very best. Thank you very much. She said her name. We've got with us the lovely Neela De Souza here on Hi TV. How are you doing, ma'am? Hi. Just tell us a bit about this space. What do you what do you think about it? I think it's really a fabulous place. And I congratulate Sean and Saskia and Anika for putting this up. It's absolutely a stunning place. I mean, compatible. It's only that it's a small, small area. But it's fantastic. I mean, it's like any other museum, any any part of the world. True. Um, the Saskia Fernando Gallery has kind of pushed the boundaries in terms of yes, contemporary art. And anyway, pushes the boundaries. Um, so, what do you see this as in terms of contempt for the future of contemporary art here in Sri Lanka? I mean, it's superb, but I wish it was bigger. I wish it was bigger because it's a superb uh, concept. I would love it. Actually, I came here long before the opening. Is there any any piece in particular that you? Yes, I did. Ruan Prasanga or someone it was fantastic because I'm a painter uh, and a sculptor. I went to architecture. That's what my, my, was my prelude to architecture. So I mean, I love painting and sculpture. So. It's fabulous to have uh, reputed artists like you here as well, appreciating and supporting this endeavor. Thank you very much for joining us on High TV.
Well, that's a look at uh, the Saskia Fernando Gallery, obviously a new space here in Colombo, a new space dedicated to art as well as one dedicated to fashion related art uh, right next door. It's a place you have to definitely come check out, especially, especially the new media exhibits and the new media section, because it's something that's very different and it's not something you find in many galleries here in Colombo. So high TV wishes Saskia Fernando as well as her gallery all the very best in preserving and promoting contemporary art here in Sri Lanka.